click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends and today we are going to study a new topic which is called a convolution of signals using inverse z transform a problem number 1 basically you should know the convolution theorem when two signals convolve with each other then and if you want to transform that convolution into any domain like in z domain then we will always first of all going to find out z transform of both these function then i will multiply them with each other so this is our main concept now we will apply a convolution theorem on your question so we'll study first of all convolution first find the convolution of signals using a z transform and my two functions are given or you can say two signals are given x1 of n is a raised to n u of n and x2 of n is u of n so first of all according to convolution theorem what we can do first of all take the product of z transform of both this function so we will use the same concept first of all we'll apply z transform both the sides or you can say we'll find out z transform x1 of n and x2 of n one by one and then i will multiply them with each other so this is our question x1 of n is a raised to n u of n and x2 of n is u of n so simply according to convolution theorem of z transform it is nothing but the product of x1 of z and x2 of z as i said the convolution of any discrete function and if we convert it into z domain then it is nothing but the product of z transform of individual functions now we will find out x1 of z and x2 of z separately by applying z transform on x1 of n and x2 of n respectively so first of all we will apply a z transform on x1 of n so z transform x1 of n can be represented by x1 of z and a raised to n u of n so using time scaling property we can write the answer of a raised to n u of n by z upon z minus a now similarly we will apply z transform on x2 of n so x2 of n z transform is x2 of z and the z transform of u of n that we know it is nothing but z upon z minus one now basically what we are going to do we are going to find out convolution using z transform so we'll substitute both this value in my let's say this is my equation number one so my equation will be now i'll substitute both this value over here so first of all in numerator i can say z into z is z square and in denominator we can write In denominator we can write z minus a and z minus one now what we want we are going to use a partial fraction method because we want to write this equation in discrete domain so let's say my y of z is nothing but convolution of x1 of n into x2 of n and this is my result so i'll use a partial fraction method so accordingly partial fraction if we have a two factors then of course we will use a two different constant so let's say my constants are a b as well as i'll take one z in the denominator of left hand side or we can say i'll shift one z on left hand side denominator so you can write y of z by z and on right hand side i can say we'll have z upon z minus 1 and z minus a and as we have a two different factors so we'll use two constants and let's say this is nothing but my equation number two now do one thing we'll multiply this left hand side denominator on right hand side so what we will get on left hand side we will have only z and after multiplying this left hand side denominator on right hand side automatically z minus 1 z minus 1 will get cancelled so a is multiplied with z minus a and our b is multiplied with z minus 1 and this is nothing but my equation number 3 now we will substitute different values of z to get the answer for constant a and b or so first of all let's substitute z equals to a if i replace this z by a then automatically a will get cancelled so whole product term will be replaced by zero so i'm not going to write this value we'll write only then left hand side we will substitute z equals to a so this is our a and on b side we can write a minus one so therefore my b value is 
a upon a minus 1. Now similarly we will substitute z equals to 1. So if I replace z by 1 then 1 minus 1 becomes 0 so whole b term will get vanish. So on left hand side we will have only 1 and on right hand side this z is replaced by 1 so I can write 1 minus of a over here. So if I shift this right hand side product term that is 1 minus a on left hand side so my a value becomes So we have got now a value as well as b value. Now I'll substitute both these value in my equation number 2. So look at here. I have substituted my a value and b value in my equation number 2. Now I will multiply z on right hand side. But I will write this constant term first. Now we will apply inverse z transform on both the sides. So y of z inverse z transform is y of n. This is a constant term, so I can write a upon a minus 1 and z upon z minus 1 is nothing but my u of n. Now plus, again we will write a constant term and we know that z upon z minus a is nothing but my uh, scaling property, so I can write a raised to n into u of n. Now if you want then you can take u of n common from both this part. So after taking u of n common what you will get and this is the result you can get after convolving two signals with each other. So similar type of questions we are going to solve in next video. So for that stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.